Hey guys, it's Spiny back here with another how to video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to make an effective magma cube farm. Uh, I've watched quite a few introductional videos on YouTube on how to make uh, a efficient magma cube farm. A lot of them, I tried them out on this server and they don't work very well. They end up not killing the small slimes, which are the one, only ones that dropped the magma cream that you need. So today we're going to start off with a a 9 by uh, 9 room. I know this is a little bit more than 9, but you, you'll want it more than that. Maybe 9 by 12. Um, then what you're going to want to do is run water all up against this wall right here. So we'll get some water buckets. And we'll put those up here. So let's put our water buckets down. And you can do it every two blocks. That That would work. There we go. Okay, so those are uh, nine blocks, I'm pretty sure. Nine or eight. I don't remember how far uh, water travels. Then what you're going to want to do is put a row of hoppers right here. And uh, this row of hoppers can lead to a uh, chest that's outside, or multiple chests, depending on how big you want to make your farm. This farm can be as big as you want it to be. There's no size limit. It can be large. It can be small. It depends on how many spawners you got. So then what we want to do is place our uh, two chests. We'll place them right there. And uh, then we'll connect our hoppers like this. Make sure they're facing that direction so that they go into the chest. Okay, now that we've done that, now what we want to do is take out every other block that's here uh, make sure you skip one, and, uh, um, okay, then what you want to do is put a hopper facing inwards, like that. Don't place it down here like this. You want to place it up against this hopper so that it's feeding into that hopper and into the chests. Then what we want to do is have all of these ones mined out right here. And we want to place our sand. I'm using red sand because cactus grows faster, slightly faster in red sand if you did not know. We're going to place that right there and we're going to place our cactuses right here on this. Then um, if you want, you can uh, mine this block out right here and again mine every other block. Oop. Didn't want that to happen. Let's uh, put that back. And we'll mine out every other block. And we'll place another row of sand. But you got to make sure you mine out these walls right here. Because cactus can cactus cannot be placed up against a wall or another piece of cactus. So we'll place our sand. And our cactus. And then what you want to do is cover up this outside. You don't want any light getting into this room. So that the magma cubes will actually spawn. So cover it up nicely. Not right there. Right here. And then do the same on the other side. Um, just make sure it's all covered up so that there's no light getting through. Uh, then what you want to do is uh, go up a couple of blocks. It doesn't have to be many. And then what you want to do is come down one block and have a... Uh, 3x3 three three area right here, and your magma spawner will go right, let's get a block of iron as the example where the spawner will go, right there is where your spawner will go. And then the magma cream, magma cubes will spawn, they'll float over to the cactus, and then they'll die. Uh, some of the stuff may get destroyed, I've never tested its efficiency, but I know it works, and it will kill them. Um, you may have to have the water come one closer. I think that would be a better idea. So uh, you could just add layers of hoppers. You could change all the flooring into hoppers if you wanted to. But uh, this works pretty good. Uh, let's go over and check out my farm. Okay, yeah, see what I did? I had um, the water inverted, and it's a bit bigger than the other room. But uh, as you can see, the small cream spawn and uh, they'll just die and their stuff will go into the hoppers which I know you can't see but there are hoppers down there and then the big ones take a bit longer but they'll all die and all their drops will go into the hoppers which I've placed a chest in an extremely awkward spot over here 
it's down here, right here, and as you can see, there is magma cream in the chest. Um, so this does work. Um, I've got a couple of magma spawners, that's why I made it a bit bigger than the other ones. And you need that three by th you need that three by three area, because what will happen is big mag magma will get stuck up at the top if you have it any smaller than three by three. So just make sure you got um, it's three blocks apart, at least one right here. And uh, then your magma farm should work just like that. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button.